It is the ninth day of Oleg Sentsov's hunger strike. The Ukrainian filmmaker has resorted to this extreme form of protest after being held in captivity in Russia for four years. His lawyer says that Sentsov was thoroughly preparing for this step. Over a month and a half, he has refused food packages, refused to purchase any food and for money to be withdrawn from his account. He switched completely to prison food and reduced its amount up until the 14th when he went on hunger strike. It's clearly the last gesture of despair. For four years I have been telling him about everything happening about his case. But there is nothing. He stopped believing in his release. With this hunger strike, he is trying to hasten the release of other political prisoners. The one and only demand set being made by Oleg Sentsov is the release of 64 Ukrainian political prisoners from captivity. The director says he won't negotiate or compromise. I tried to persuade him to stop the hunger strike and try to resolve the issues that he listed in his statement through legal means. Oleg responded that he has no trust in the Russian justice system and that he will not negotiate under any circumstances and will continue waiting for them to meet his demands, which is what he's doing. Sensov's relatives are afraid that he could last two months at the most. He has had the heart condition since his childhood, and he may not survive the stress on his body. Ukraine's Ministry of Foreign Affairs demands that Russian diplomats ensure access to the director. We also sent a note to Russian Foreign Ministry demanding access to Oleg Sentsov. In four years of his illegal imprisonment, despite hundreds of appeals, we haven't been allowed to meet either Sentsov or Kolchenko. Russian authorities illegally attribute this to them being citizens of the Russian Federation. This is not true, which is proven by a number of documents. As Oleg said himself, he's not a serf to be transferred with the land. Here it is stated that Oleg is not a Russian citizen, he is a citizen of Ukraine. He has never received a Russian passport, under no circumstances. He has never written applications for a Russian passport. Sensov's release is being called for by the U.S. State Department, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, the European Parliament, European filmmakers, and many ordinary citizens on social media. Ukrainian filmmaker was detained by Russian security forces in illegally annexed Crimea on May 11, 2014. He was accused of preparing a terrorist act in the peninsula based on fabricated evidence. Later, the director was charged with the possession of weapons and explosives. On August 15, 2014, the Russian court sentenced Sentsov to 20 years of imprisonment. He is currently being held in a high-security prison colony.